we are on page 11. Check your answers, please. Question one, the answer will be 64 miles in one hour, right? Question two will be nine over 50 miles in one minute. In one minute. Question three. One hundred twenty-four point eight, or you can write it as mixed number miles in one hour. Hour, not minute. Question four, 40 apps in one minute. Question five, five over nine feet and one what one what month question six one over five miles in one what second Second, you, the shortcut of it is SEC, like this, okay? Question seven. Question seven. We have three over five miles in one minute and the question eight the question eight we said it is similar to the apply question right remember so you will find the unit rate for each and you will select which one of them that cost less than eight dollar per yard so you will find all of them, the unit rate down will be the number of the yards. And the first three will be less than eight yards. So how many selections you will do? Three, the first one, cotton, flannel, and fleece, right? These three are the correct choices. The last one will be more than eight dollars, right? Yeah. So the question eight, the three selections, the first one, which is cotton, second one, which is lanel, and the third one, which is a fleece. The fourth one will be more than eight dollars, so we will not, or we won't select it. These are your answers, check them please. If you have any questions, you can ask me before I start the second lesson. Yes, sir. Yeah, we will do it now. Let's do question five and six. In question five, we have in Lix's garden, the green pepper plants, plants grew five inches in three over four months. This is our rate, right? Five inches, five 
inches in three over four months. Three over four months. This is my rate. Down, down, the question what, what, what the wanted. At this rate, how many feet can, how many feet? Up, the question was talking about inches. Down, the question asked me about feet. So we have different units here, right? And we said that we cannot deal with the question with different units. The units should be the same. Check. Um, how many feet can they grow in one month? So the first step, you need to turn the inches to what? To feet. Check. Yeah. There is a famous formula between inches and feet. One feet equal how many inches? 12? I'm not sure. Three or 12? One feet equal 12 inches. Will one yard? Are you sure? Okay, I will follow you. So in one feet equal a 12 what? Inches. This is the formula. Right? Now I want to turn it from inches to feet. From inches to feet. What we will do? From a smaller to bigger, right? The inch is smaller than the feet. So we'll turn from the smaller to bigger. From a smaller to bigger, we always divide. From bigger to smaller, we always multiply. So to turn from inches to feet, we will divide five by what? By 12. So this five inches equal five over 12 what? Feet. So I turn the inches to what? To feet. Now, my rate, my rate is five inches, sorry, five over 12 inches in how many months? Three over four, right? But they want, at this rate, how many feet can they grow in one month? Sorry, feet, I'm sorry. I turn it to feet. Why I turn it to feet? Because the question wants it in feet, right? Done? Now let's, let's make the months to be one. How? By making units. Great, so I will divide up and down by three over four. Check. So this is equal five over 12 divided by three over four over three over four divided by three over four. Down will be one ish, one month. Up, make division of fractions, five over 12, multiply, switch, four over three. This will be 15 over 36. Simplify, divide up and down by what? 20, 15. 20, divide both by four. It will be five over nine. Five over nine ish. What I wrote in the answer, question five, five over nine feet in one month. Do you understand it? I turn it because the question asked me about feet, not inches. Done? This is a question five. Question six. Question six. Thunder from a bolt of lightning travels one over 10 miles in one over two seconds. One over 10 miles in one over two what? Second. This is my rate. One over 10 miles in one over two ish second. The thunder is very fast. Okay, in half second, he moved one over 10 miles. This is my rate. 
uh, at this rate, how many miles can it travel in one second? Do we need to convert any unit? No. Second up, second down, everything is ready. So just make your rate and make the seconds to be one. Divide up and down by what? So one over 10 divided by half, over half divided by half. Down will be one, one what? Second, up make division. One over 10, multiply two over one. Yani two over 10, yani one over five. Divide them two up and down. It will be one over five what? Miles. What I wrote in the answer, question six. One over five miles in one second. Do you understand? This is a question six. Yes. What? Five inches, how many feet? It's five, five over it. Huh? The answer five over nine. No, in my book, they wrote, let one month equal four weeks, by the way, in question five. They didn't write about anything about inches. Let me see. Wait. Hey, let one month equal four weeks. They talked about months in some copies, not inches, but what they wrote in your book. Let five inches equal five over nine foot. طب الانسر ايش طلع معانا احنا؟ والانسر ايش طلع معك؟ over In a question five, what we did, wait. In a question five, this is the rate, right? Five inches in three over four months, right? Five. And in the, at the end, they ask me about feet, not inches, right? So I use the formula to turn the five inches to be what? Feet. Then I do my steps, right? And the answer is what? Five over nine, and here also five over nine. Okay, so follow me here. Maybe some what? Huh? Question number. Question number seven. The average sneeze can it travel three over 100 miles in three seconds. At this rate, how far can it travel in one minute? Three seconds equal one over 20 minutes. Use this one, what's the problem? Did you understand the question? Wait, did you understand the question three? Same of the question seven. Huh? It's given you, mister. Three seconds in the one minute equal how many seconds? 60. One minute equal 60 seconds. One minute equals 60 ish. Stop. How many, what they gave me here? Three what? A three seconds. And down they asked me about minutes. So I want to turn it from seconds to what? Two minutes. Stop. Hey, three seconds. I want to turn it two minutes. Three seconds. I want to turn it to what? Two minutes. So I can use it, right? Right. Mean Akbar is second well a minute. Minute. I want to turn it from smaller to bigger. 
From smaller to bigger, we always divide, not multiply. From bigger to smaller, assume we have three minutes and we want to turn it to seconds. What we will do? We multiply by 60, right? But from second to minute, we divide by 60. So three divided by 60. Three divided by 60. Simplest form, one over 20. So the three seconds equal one over 20 minutes. One over 20 minutes. Okay. Done. We go to our second lesson. Yeah. What? Question what, ya Ammar? Hada? <clears throat> Quickly. Tell us. Yeah. Now let's go to our second lesson. Page 13. Understand. Proportional. Relationships. Stop talking. Now, page 13, sorry. Stop. Now, we have something in math we call proportion. We call it proportion. Proportion means two fractions are equal with different numbers. Two fractions are equal with different numbers. For example, if we have a half, he nafsa 6 over 12. These are two fractions with different numbers, but they are equal. 2 over 4, 5 over 10, all of them equal 1 over 2, right? How we get it? Because if you simplify the 6 over 12, divide by 6, divide by 6, it will be 1 over 2. If you make long division, 1 divided by 2, it will be 0 point. And here it will be 0 point 0.5. At this case, what we call this proportion. We call it proportion. Proportion. Come on. Done. We have different ways to be sure that if we have two fractions, if they make proportions or no. For example, how the one becomes six how the one becomes six. We always use multiply or divide, okay? The one can be six by multiplying with six. But do the same down, it will be 12, right? If we have different thing up and down, it won't be proportion. Or we can use something we call it cross product. Multiply one by 12, 12. Two by six, 12. If that two products are equal, then the, it's proportion. If not, then it's not. For example, three over five, I'm asking you, three over five, is it equal to, um, seven over 14? I don't know. Make cross the product. Three by 14, 42. Five by seven, 35, they are not equal, then these are not equal, then it is not a proportion. Or you can use the idea of multiply or the idea of divide, it's up to you. So if you have two raised rates or ratios and you want to know if they are proportions or not, you can make a cross product, you can use the idea of multiplication, it's up to you. Done, how to know if the two fractions 
make proportions or no? Criminal idea? Let's go to example one. Example one. We are in example one, page 15. And as we said in lesson one, here you need to read and focus. Okay? Yeah, let's read. Mr. Tamim, what you have in the back? You're always looking there. Huh? Example one, read it and jump. Recipe. Indicates. Ratio. S S Adi. Yeah. Good. Wait. We have information here. We have ratio. Oh, rate. A ratio of one part vinegar to four parts of what? This is my first rate. One part of vinegar to four, uh, to four parts. Halas, continue. Used. Yeah. Tablespoons. So we have two rates here, or two ratios, right? The first one, one to four, the ula. The second one, three to 12, right? Focus, yeah, we have two ratios here. We have two ratios. The first one, I'm an example one. One what? We need to use units, check. Yeah, one part of vinegar. Two, four, part, parts water. خلاص وات. تمام. The second one, three tablespoons of vinegar to twelve tablespoons of water. خلاص. Vinegar to a twelve of what? What? Done? These are two rates in the question. Continue, Najib. What the question wants? Recipe. Vinegar. In Elise's cleaning solution, a proportional relationship or no? So they ask me if these two rates are proportional or not a proportional. That's, so I will make my fraction. We, we said we use the fractional form always, right? So the first rate is one, two, three. So one, uh, sorry, one to four. One to what? Four. Is it what I will write here? The question asked me, is it proportional to three over 12? You can make it mentally. Can the one be three? How? So do the same for the four. It will be 12. Or you can use the cross product. One multiply 12. One multiply 12 is 12. And four multiply three is 12. So my answer is what? Yes, they are. Proportional. Is it clear? Copy it. You can use this. How the one becomes a three by multiplying with a three. How the four becomes a 12 by multiplying with the three also. If they are the same up and down, 
then yes. Or you can use the cross product. It's the same. Done? Let's see the check after this example. Read your Omar. Ali Sotak. So we will use one part of example one. Huh? Yeah, the recipe up, which is what? One to four, remember? Yeah, come. Hello. Yeah, let's go. Now, they said, refer to the recipe for homemade glass cleaner in example one. What it was, the first one, remember the recipe, the first one, one vinegar to four water or cups of water or parts of water, okay? This is the first one, I'm in the check. The first one was one vinegar, right? <clears throat> to what? Four water. Four water. Parts of water. <clears throat> the second one, which is the new one in the your check, what is it? 1.5 what? Cups. To what? Six cups, right? Of water. Done? Let's make our rates and Check if they are proportional or not. The first ratio, one over one, one uh, sorry, one over four. Is it equal to? Is it proportional to? Close the door, Yabni. Close the door. Now, one over four. Is it? I put question mark here. Is it equal to? Is it proportional to? Open it. 1.5 to six. No, no. Let's check. One multiply six equals six, right? So four multiply one point five. And four multiply one point five equals six. There is no calculator, remember? Yeah, yeah so four multiply one point five. How I multiply? I multiply without decimal first. So yeah, four by five is twenty. Four by one, four plus two, six. Then you have decimal after one digit, Sheikh. Yeah. So here you count one digit and put your decimal. So what's the answer? Six, Sheikh. Yeah. So they are proportional or not? Yeah. Yes. Mean. You didn't understand what? You didn't understand what? And where? خلصنا الهومور. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Use example one. Yani example one, they use two, two rates, Mazbut. And in the check, they take one rate from example one and the new rate. It's written 1.5 to 6. See it? That's simple, just it's not that complicated yet. Are they proportional? Yes. So the answer is yes, they are proportional. And I want you to, to write this. Write this. Tamalish check. Right. Yes, they are proportional. Kabi. You understand the check? So the idea of this example and the check, you have two rates. You make them, you put your rates or ratios. I say ratios because here in my solutions, 
I didn't put put the units. So, and we said the ratio has no name, units, Mashaik. So we'll say proportional ratios, it's okay. Now, you have two ratios and you will see if they are proportional or not, that's all. How, by many ways, you can use the idea of multiply, the idea of divide or the cross product. The cross product, now sometimes because if you have big numbers, maybe you cannot figure out what's the number if you multiply with this to get this, right? So use the cross product, it will get tell you if they are proportional or no. <clears throat> we'll stop here today. Your homework for today is. Read the first question up in your practice, page 19. See it? Read the first question. Determine if each situation represents a proportional relationship. So, we will leave. So, we try question one and two. Select question one and two. And you will have two ratios in each question, like the example and the check, right? You will make your ratios and you will see if they are proportional or not proportional. Do you understand? That's all, thank you. Yes, one and two. That's all. <laughs> 